Hi everyone, this is Horma from Garden Plant Lover. Welcome to my channel. It is four weeks since I transplanted my brassicas and they are coming along very nicely. I lost one of my plants for some kind of a critter I couldn't identify and I had to I had to replace it. But other than that, my plants are coming um, without any damages. Let's uh, almost ready to harvest. Uh, maybe after a week or so, I will start to pick the lettuces and let the brassicas go by them by themselves. I want to talk about brassica related pests today. In my experiences, I have seen different four different types of bugs uh, which are damaging brassicas. Um, they are mothworms, slugs, cabbage worms, harlequin bugs. Mothworms are usually lay eggs on the surface of the um, brassica leaves, and then the best way is to destroy them during the egg stage. They are usually in yellow colors and laid, um, laid individually, so it is easy to find them and smash them before they hatch. If it is not uh, could be done, the second option is to check them at night. Usually, I check them. Uh, I check my plants at night for slugs and moth worms. Usually, they hide in the soil during the day, and they come out. Uh, can come out and damage the plants du uh, during the night. So here you can see a lot of damages in the um, in the cabbage leaves, and here it is. It is hiding in the um, leaf, and then usually I pick it and I drop it into a soapy water, so it would not hurt my plants further. The other protecting option is growing brassicas under the row cover or agro fabrics in that way it prevents the moths to lay eggs on the on the cabbages or brassicas but you still need to check your plants at night for the slugs the other damaging bugs are cabbage worms cabbage moths lay their eggs to the back side of the brassica leaves at night and usually the eggs come in groups in white, not white, but creamy color. And um, usually when they hatch, um, the moth larvae start to eat the tissues of the brassica leaves. When you see the bare skin, like uh, laces on your plants, like in the video, definitely check back of the leaves because you will find newly hatched uh, cabbage worms. The best, uh, the best thing to protect your plants from them is destroying them uh, at the egg stage, like I said. And once they grow up, they eat the whole plant overnight. They are very, very damaging bugs. Here is the damage from harlequin bugs. This is the photo from last year. They suck the life out of the brassicas. This is the um, adult harlequin bugs. They are exceptionally beautiful, but they are extremely damaging. This is harlequin bug larvae. They look very much like ladybugs, but with um, white and black stripes. Just don't let them to fool you. And these are uh, harlequin eggs. They are like jewels they are very very beautiful it is so funny that everything related to this bug is beautiful but they are very damaging and as you can see there are um, bug damages in the outer leaves but as long as bugs don't damage the center of the plants the plants recollect themselves and they um, they go well and I have started to harvest my uh, lettuces so some of the some of the brassicas as you can see they are, are growing by themselves now there is no any um, destruction or competition around them and we will harvest the rest of the lettuces in a week or so so that all of the brassicas will grow without any distraction 
Another, th another important thing in succeeding with brassicas and getting huge heads is watering. Always keep in mind that brassicas and water come hand in hand. If there is no water, there is no brassica. Brassicas need a lot of water. From the time you put them into the ground, they need a lot of water to grow vigorously and to form the decent heads. Especially in hot spring days when temperatures go over 80s, give plenty of water to your brassicas so that they will not experience any dehydration. When you think of brassicas, always think of water because brassicas need a lot of water. It is now 40 days after I transplanted my brassicas and lettuces to, the, uh, to this bed and as you can see, I see head formation in my cabbages and my broccolis. This is a gypsy broccoli, this is a um, 55 days early variety and I, I have four plants of it and they, they, all of the plants are forming heads. They, they will need another week or so to complete the um, to complete the growth. Especially when you see head formation in your brassicas, give a lot of increase the amount of water you give them so that they could size up. If they are dehydrated, if they don't have enough water, the um, brassica heads will not size up. This is all I have for you today. If you like this video, please give thumbs up and if you want to watch videos like this, please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.